Tadam! Okay, when you search on YouTube, there is a lot of different recipes for your V60, for your pour overs. Like, there is a lot. And when I started learning about pour overs, I saw this guy, Vincent from Tails Coffee. Hello? Um, I'm not sure if he is the pioneer or he is the one who developed the single pour method, but he is a master of it. Contrary to common belief, it is not beginner friendly, but I'm going to show you how to do it properly and easily. Um, if you want to see his video, here is the link to his video. So today I'm gonna simplify it for you and I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do the single pour method, right? So in order for you to do the single pour method, the one thing that you need to add to your um, gear or tools is this one. It's a chopstick. It's a normal chopstick. Because we're gonna use it to stir the coffee bed while we're waiting for the drawdown, right? The concept of his single pour method is you pour in the middle and then slowly work your way around those floating um, boulders, those floating particles to saturate them even more. And then when you're done pouring the totality of your ratio, um, we're gonna stir. Then we're gonna do, we're gonna stir from top to bottom. And then we're just, we're, we're simply going to wait for the water to go down and then your coffee is done. The pouring technique is very crucial to this um, single pour method because you need to be able to you need to be able to be familiar enough with your kettle because at first you're gonna pour very slowly and very close to the bed and while you're working your way up the dripper you're gonna slowly increase the flow rate of your water right so I'm gonna show you how to do that exactly so for this recipe, we're going to prepare 20 grams of coffee to 300 ml of water. Vincent actually mentioned that you need a medium fine size grind for this, um, for this pouring method. So we're going to do 18 clicks on the Comandante. I'm using a V60 size 02 um, because... We're gonna put 300 ml of water, so that is a lot of water for a small dripper. So we need to be able to accommodate the water. Make sure that the paper is wet so it sticks to the walls of your dripper. Right. Now we're gonna put the coffee grounds. Um, part of the preparation is um, making a divot on your coffee grounds. This is where you use your chopsticks. So the way Vincent does it is he uses the tip of the chopsticks and then stir from top to bottom. Again, again, again. Stir from top to bottom then when you have a divot you do a light tap right so you have like um, like an inverted mountain right okay so the temperature that we're gonna do is 90 degrees Celsius so again we're not gonna bloom we are gonna pour we're, we are going to do one single pour all the way up to 300. So the, the dynamics of the pouring. So the pouring method requires you to pour in the middle at first. And then when it's starting to um, do the bubbles and some, some coffee grounds are floating. By the time that the dome is reaching the walls of your dripper, that's when you start pouring and sink all those floating particles. So we're gonna start. Start the timer. And then slowly, he said slowly, 
very slow concentrate in the middle and then when you have all the coffee grounds wet that's when you work your way around the sides and then start pouring harder Okay, make sure you sweep all the sides then start pouring harder again maintain that up to 300 okay then right after finishing your pour you stir like vigorously you stir hard From top to bottom. Again, top to bottom. Okay, I know I messed up the stirring there because um, I changed directions, but it's still the same concept. Okay, we should expect um, a very beautiful dome shaped uh, coffee bed. As it finishes drawing down, we should see a nice, beautiful dome shape. Yeah, and then at the same time, you should be able to get microfine particles on the walls of your paper, right? Okay, and then also at the same time, our our final our, our total brew time is um, same as his around two minutes okay we're gonna give it a stir mm. <laughs> this is what I think the coffee is quite nice it's it lacks body it, la it has a thin body, but it is, it's a bit, it has low sweetness and bright acidity. It's lively, yeah? It's very bright. Um, it has a low sweetness and a thin body, but it's a, it's a good cup of coffee. Yeah, this is a nice way to do your coffee as well. It's my first time doing it. So I know that I understand that it takes a lot of practice to do this successfully. Um, first of all, the stirring of the chopsticks. The reason why I messed up when I started stirring the coffee is because my fold is counterclockwise. And I stirred clockwise. So I almost ripped the paper. So I should have I should have stirred counterclockwise as well. Um, at the same time, the pouring technique needs more practice from me because at first you're gonna you're gonna pour very close to the bed and very slowly, and then and then when you start working your way up, you should increase it more and more and more and more in a very progressive pattern. So. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice simple, it's a nice simple recipe that you can practice at home because you, you automatically eliminate one variable, the pouring technique. So if you practice it more and more, um, it gets easier and easier. So for a lot of multi-pour recipes out on the internet, um, it could be very hard to practice especially if you're not consistent with every pour but this one with the single pour method you can actually practice it at home and perfect just one pour so it's easier but it needs a little practice right so try it at home again you can look for his video um, if you need more clarifications on the recipe but for now Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!